and today we're going to talk about time management and how to keep the game moving at a fast pace. So later in the end, when there's lots of rocks in play, it's often hard to make a decision quickly. Uh, so I'm going to give you some tips to try to figure out best how to manage when there's so many rocks in the house. So the, by far the biggest thing a skip can do when trying to figure out which shot to call is think about the scoreboard, where they are in the game, and what they're trying to get out of the end. Once you know what your plan is and what you want to accomplish, it's a lot easier for you to figure out what shot to call. So sometimes in an end there's often lots of guards and your path into the button is very limited. So the skip will have to make a choice to clear those guards off and open it up so that he has a shot later in the end. So once the player has their rock cleaned off and the shot's been called, everything's ready to go. So it's nice and fast. So I'm Brendan Botcher. Thanks a bunch for listening, and for more curling tips, go to edmontonjournal.com.